Seattle Coffee Gear has a new Breville grinder that we wanted to show you. This is the based on the Smart Grinder, which has been out for a while now, uh, several years, and they made a few improvements, and it's called the Smart Grinder Pro. So, uh, same basics on it, uh, one pound bean hopper with a rubber gasket on here on the lid that keeps it airtight. The uh, bean hopper is also removable, and when you go like this, it actually shuts off the flow of beans down here so that you can change the beans out or so that you can get into the burrs in here. And I'll get into those in a second. But let me show you the other features first. I'll show you what makes this different. Right over here, the grind time, instead of it be a gradient bar that goes across, it's actually seconds. So if you move it, you're going to get the grind size here, which that's a little bit different as well going back and forth and you can change the seconds. Over here if you have this set for 17 seconds like we have it right now you put your portafilter under there and there is a button under here if you want to just push with the portafilter and it activates it and starts it or you can start it up here. Um, if you're grinding for like a double basket or a triple basket you grind for like the eight seconds or so and you want to shake it out you stop it shake it out and it isn't really stopping it it's pausing it put it back in hit start again and then it completes the remainder of the time left on that 18 seconds that's kind of nice that's a new feature um, it has a container just like the old one does with the cups and the uh, filter size on the side here so that you can grind right down into it if you're using drip it has two Porta filter holders, one for 50 to 54 millimeters, which is one the typical size of the um, porta filters on some of the Brevels. And then 58, if you have the double boiler or the Oracle, fits in there, and those go right in there like that. And then the porta filter hits the button if you want to activate it that way. Those come off. They're kind of magnetic. There's a magnet on the machine, and then there's this corresponding here. Um, the other thing that makes this one a little bit different other than the pause and the seconds is the burrs up in here. The burrs are the same size, which they don't talk about the size, but it is a conical burr grinder. This comes out by turning it counterclockwise. This has 60 settings, and then up here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in the camera, we'll get the light reflection, there are numbers, 1 to 10. If you take, let's say it's not going coarse enough for you, remove this like that, and now you can change the burrs ever so slightly, the top burr, how far down it goes. And then what you want to do is line this dot up with whatever hole, whatever size you want it to be, and then you put this back in, and it goes in that hole goes in the hole in the other side, spring-loaded. Now it's locked, so it can't move. So that's another nice feature on this grinder, is if you're not quite, you want to tweak it just a little, you got 10 more settings. Now you got 70 settings on this. Huge! And you can see that clicked back in. Until you put this all back together and do that, you can't use the machine. It disables it, so you can't grind up your fingers or some other whatever goes down in there. Like if your kids are throwing down their action figures, out comes a big pile of plastic. Nah. So that's the Breville Smart Grinder Pro. Uh, those are the changes they've made. Um, we'll get a little bit of coffee here, put it in the bean hopper, and we'll show you how it grinds. Okay, we got some beans in here. We have it set for the finest setting so that we can see uh, you know, what it's going to put out. And I'm going to also show you the pause. And I forgot to mention earlier that you can change the how many shots that you're doing. And then it changes that as well. So let's take it down to the, we got 9.8 seconds. We're going to grind down into the vessel. We're going to pause it. And then we're going to start it back up again. That's how that pause works. And you noted it counts backwards. Let's take a look at it. Whoop. Oh, this is the grounds catcher comes out so you can dump it. By the way, oh wow, look at that. Very fine. When it's clumped like that, you know it's very fine. 
Oh yeah, that is, that's, um, you hardly feel any granules in there. Very, very slight amount of granules, which indicates it's very, very fine. It's like, not quite like talc, but very close. So, I would say uh, this is a good choice for somebody that wants to do espresso, drip, French press, because it does go up to a coarse setting as well, uh, way up to the top for French press. So I think it's a great grinder. Check it out on our webpage. Have any questions, give us a call. Check out the link below and you can see uh, it'll go right to this product. Thanks for watching.